Hi, good morning. This is Coach Steven. Welcome to my channel. This morning, we want to talk about a basic serve. How many of you wish you could surf like that, like what you have just seen? It's very natural, it's very fluid, almost look like it is effortless, right? What you can, contrary to popular belief, the surf is actually pretty easy to learn, all right? If you find a surf very difficult, you have probably missed out on some of the very important components in the surf, or you did not follow the step-by-step -step, uh, way of learning the surf. Uh, that's what we're gonna do this morning. Okay, we're going to show you how we break down the different components of the surf so that you can learn one bit at a time until you finally achieve a very fluid surf towards the end. When you hit a forehand or a backhand or a volley or any other strokes for that matter, all right, how you perform really depends on how the ball comes from the other side, right? The surf is the only stroke in tennis that is entirely controlled by yourself. You control the toss, you control the strength, you control the spin, you control the direction, you control everything. So in that aspect, the surf is in fact one of the easiest things to learn. All right, if you still find the surf difficult, I hope you'll find it a lot easier after you watch this video. Okay, so first thing first, we are just going to practice throwing off the ball. That's the first thing I want you guys to learn in the surf is to understand that the serve is all but a throwing action. Okay, what do I mean by that? Watch this. First, you're going to stand in a sideway position, like this. Okay, have your back foot parallel to the baseline. Alright, and your front foot, maybe 45 degrees, pointing to the front or pointing at the net post. Okay, and then have your, have your left arm pointing straight forward. Hold a ball with your right hand, put that ball behind your head, okay? So this is the right, right position I want you to stand. And then just throw this ball over the net. It's got to be high, throw it high and over the net. So you can't see this, but I'm right now throwing every ball over the net. So this is the first thing that you are going to learn in a serve. By understanding this action, which is exactly the same action as when you are going to swing your racket at the ball, all right, then you understand the biomechanics of the turning and the twisting and the whipping of your arm to help you throw the ball far. If you can throw the ball over the net, that means you have achieved the right throwing technique. If you have trouble throwing over the net, then you need more practice. You can go by standing a little bit closer to the net and then move back gradually. Okay, so that's the first exercise. So after we have achieved that, we go into exercise number two. So in exercise number two, we are only going to, we're going to use two balls. Okay, same, same position, right hand behind the head and left hand holding the ball with the fingertip. Okay, don't grab the whole ball with the, with the whole hand, just with the fingertip so that it is easier to release the ball. And also, it doesn't cause the ball to spin too much. If you hold it with the whole palm, when you throw, it kind of roll off your finger and it creates a lot of spin. Okay, so remember, hold it with your fingertip. Okay, so have this ball behind your head and this one in front. Don't do anything with this yet, okay, until the next exercise. This is exercise number two. So in exercise number two, you are just going to practice the toss. Basically, just straighten your arm. Don't bend your elbow, okay, straighten your arm. Let the ball drop until it's almost touching the front thigh, okay, the front leg. Watch this. I'm almost touching and then lift it up and release the ball. Now, a lot of you will find this part very, very challenging. In fact, most people think that the serve is difficult because of the toss. So this exercise becomes so important, all right? You got to make sure that this exercise is done properly before you proceed to exercise number three, number four, so on and so forth, okay? So again, fingertip, straighten arm, okay? Start from about nose to eye level because that's the level you're going to release the ball at. So get used to that, okay? Start at nose to eye level, okay? Drop until it's almost touching your thigh and then bounce up, release the ball, 
if you release the ball at the right time, if you release the ball at the right time, nose or eye level around there, all right, the ball will go up straight and it will bounce in front of your left foot. I hope you can see the bounce up and in front of my left foot. You see where the ball is bouncing? So you just have to imagine that there is a little hula hoop, okay? There's a little area the size of a hula hoop in front of your left foot. If your toss drops within that hula hoop area, then you're doing fine, okay? It, 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 it cannot be one pinpoint area. It just got to be a, a rough area the size of a hula hoop size, okay? So don't look for that perfect, perfect position. Watch again. So from here, drop the arm, toss it up, boom, in front of my left foot, toss, up, that's too close to me, that's not good, okay? Some of you might experience this, it goes to the back, no, that's not good either, okay? So make sure that you keep practicing until the ball is consistently in the hula hoop, okay? This is exercise number two. Okay, once you are happy with your exercise number two, then we proceed to exercise number three. All right, exercise number three is very interesting, okay? It, it requires the coordination of your right and your left arm. Okay, watch this. this. This is where both balls will be used. Okay, this is my favorite exercise when it comes to coordinating the serve. This is my favorite exercise, okay? So watch this. So basically what you're trying to do is after you've done the toss, while the ball is still up there, I want you to throw this ball using the same throwing action as you did on your first exercise to blast that ball. Try your best to blast that ball out or away. Okay, watch this. It doesn't matter if you don't actually hit the ball, but maybe like close, but it is important that you hit or you try to hit that ball while the first ball is still up there. Don't let the first ball drop and then start throwing like this, okay? So watch this. While the ball is still at the highest point, boom! I almost got it. I was that close. I was that close. Okay, so that's good enough. Okay, watch again. If you can hit it, it's a bonus. But if you cannot hit it, it's fine. Okay, watch this. Throw it up. And while the ball is up there, you released. It is important that you don't wait for the ball to drop. Some of you might experience this, okay? Then this is wrong, huh? Watch. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't let the ball drop to here and then release the ball. You don't want to do that, okay? Always make sure that you activate the second ball when the first ball is still up there. So watch again. One, two. I got it. This time I got it. Did you hear it? This time I got it. Okay, I hit the ball in mid-air. Okay, one more time. Focus. Toss it up. Boom. I almost got it again. But you see, even if I don't hit the ball, my second ball will still go over uh, the net. That is important, okay? Because I don't want you to slow down just because you're trying to hit the ball. No, don't slow down. Toss it up and release, okay? So it's very important that you follow those steps, okay? So that was our exercise number three. If you are good, be patient, okay? Don't, don't be in a hurry, like, oh, I want to go to the next step, I want to go to the next step. Make sure that your current step is maybe 70 to 80% successful all right, before you even attempt to go to the next step, okay? So the next step requires you to use your racket, finally, right? So don't mind if I hold a couple of balls in my hand. You, uh, you should start by holding one ball at a time first, okay? So watch this. Pretend this is the ball that you hold on your right hand, and then you put your, the ball or the, the, the hand position is still behind your head. You notice? It's the same position as just now when I was holding the ball, right? See, the ball is behind my head. So my hand position has not changed. The hand is still behind my head, all right? My racket is on edge, okay? There's no need to rest your racket on your shoulder like this. I don't encourage that, okay? Racket is just hanging behind your back, okay? And then the hand is behind the head, not here. Don't put your hand here. Hand is behind the head. Same thing, no change. Now pretend that this is the second ball, but please don't throw the racket away, eh? okay? But the throwing action is the same. The objective is, is this. You gotta throw the first ball up, and while the first ball is at the highest point, 
I want you to reach out for it. I want you to throw your racket, all right, to strike the ball while the ball is still at the highest point. So watch this. Up, boom, okay? And throw. So it's toss the ball while the ball is up there, throw your racket at it, okay? Now pay attention also to the follow through. When you finish, let me face you so it's easier for you to see, all right? So toss it up. While the ball is still at the highest point, reach up. Okay, remember to reach up to the highest point. Okay, reach up. After you strike the ball, make sure your racket comes next to your left uh, thigh or in, uh, outside your left thigh. Okay, those of you who have a pocket, okay, next to your left pocket. Okay, watch again. So from here, toss the ball up straight, contact the ball, and follow through, finish next to your left thigh, make sure you lift up your back heel as well. Okay, because if you don't lift up your back heel, you will not be able to rotate your shoulder. You want to be able to turn into the serve. And if you don't rotate your shoulder, you're going to hit your, your, your foot. You don't want to do that, okay? So, toss it up, throw, and then finish like this. Racket next to your left pocket, back heel is up. Okay, one more time. Toss the ball up, contact, and follow through. Let me do a couple more for you. Yeah? Toss it up while the ball is at the highest point. Okay? Look at the finishing. There you go. One more time. And that was the basic serve. All right? We call that the half serve. Some people call it the baby serve, but you're going to start from there first. And you can even play tennis using the half serve for a while before you are comfortable enough to proceed to the full serve. Okay, so on the second part of this video, we're going to show you how do you progress from there uh, into a full serve. Okay, so what is the difference? So a half serve, the racket is starting from behind your back, you toss, and then you hit. The reason why we do the half serve first is because in a full serve, you are required to coordinate the right and the left all at the same time, which makes that very challenging for a lot of people. All right, which is why we introduce the half serve first, because in a half serve, you focus on your toss, followed by focusing on your hitting or throwing of your racket. You don't do two things at one time, okay? But after a while, you want to be able to do the full serve eventually.